I am the city of Patterson, that the council represent the legislative body, and they can ask for the moon. They have to do it in a form of legislation, and I have to sign it. You heard him right. That's Mayor Jeffrey Jones. Uh, earlier this week, we had a conversation right before the vote, a vote that was voted down here. He didn't support it. He thought it would have been an embarrassment to the city. But the greater point is, listen, if you live there, that guy's not doing a good job for you. I don't, can't speak to the city council. It doesn't sound like they're doing a terrific job managing the city's finances. But you still live there. Imagine your own home in Patterson or you're renting an apartment. You're not going anywhere. Whatever assets you have are tied to the city. Because you've had bad leadership, does that mean you shouldn't have an expectation of safety? And we're having this conversation, and I'm not naive about it, but there are options, and the governor's done it before. He's taken over troubled other cities and basically put them under the guidance of Trenton or the state. To me, we're going to see in this more and more places. I can pick other states. It's not just New Jersey I'm picking on right now. But this is going to come to a head. Because as we know, cities can no longer, without any help from Washington or state capitals, foot the bill for basic necessities like police and fire to the numbers they used to. We're going to have this issue come up more and more often, aren't we? Yeah, the revenue base for cities and municipalities have been sales tax revenue and mortgage recording taxes from people that are selling or buying, purchasing their homes. That is completely dried up after, two, you know, 2008. And you're seeing, you know, there's been, since 2010, there's been 28 municipalities around the country that have gone bankrupt. And, you know, Rockland County's talking about it. Syracuse here in New York is also talking about it. Um, Central Falls, Rhode Island is just coming out of bankruptcy now. Um, these are big issues. And the question is, is how do you revive a base and how do these residents in Patterson survive? I think the answer is, is that um, the governor has to come in and has to take it over because it's obvious that it's being mismanaged. When they go in and take it over, they've got to take stock and say, realize that this is a, a disenfranchised community. They cannot take the tax base, cannot run the uh, the city. You've got to come in with economic development incentives in order to bring in businesses, commercial industries, heavy industrial, whatever. it's a good business, bad because business argument. If you don't, anybody with any options are going to leave. And then the more they leave, what are you left with? An even worse problem that you already had before. Uh, this ain't easy, but I just, the answer I got at the end of it was, you're on your own, Patterson. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us.